distance. They've got to get the ball off his hands a lot quicker. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. And look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. 65 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop in this first half. Eight yards the game on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Another run here with Sanders. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard on the play, so now they need three yards on third down. Sets up to throw it. Oh my goodness. And this is going to be incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of the corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Try and throw for him. Hurts pushes him over, and he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So not only do they convert on fourth, but they pick up 22 yards in the process. In motion comes the tight end left. A give running left. It's Sanders. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. Back to back, nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They don't need to run another play here before the two minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 0 ball game. Learn more at getrealaboutdiabetes.com. Running game working. Stick with it on first down. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. That's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about when they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Exclusively on they just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And he's throwing the complete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. He's out there on the Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just what he needed to be. He did not get away. Eighth play, the drive forthcoming. And they need eight yards on third down. to be able to hold them to three. Throw. 
Seconds remaining in this first half. On first and ten, it hurts. Pressure comes, he's taken down by the Seahawks defense. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Oh, 
Call it 46 yards on the punt, just a single yard on the return as he was covered quickly. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. And the ball banked way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation, either side of the ball. Just go ahead, finish up the half, and get on out and talk about it. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout. Making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Off of play action, here's Smith. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. At my last checkup, my A1 speed was 5.9. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Pulled in at the 24. Come on again. This is ridiculous. You gotta be kidding me. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7 7 our score. Fields it right around the goal line. And he's going to be out of bounds on the return. Not a great return. They'll start back around the 17. offense sent to begin the next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? I think just looked at things and said, this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles 
Bears have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, the bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. One of the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field to the end zone score. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Gino going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And this one is incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. On second and ten, Smith. But it's Goodwin. His second catch, and this one not nearly as electrifying as his first. And it'll bring up third down now. Hi there, how are you? Who's new here in town? I just want to know if you come work for me. Is that right? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was there. Just to come in, I was having my back to the bar. I didn't like this year old, but just look at it. But then, yeah. Three now is Gino. And he's going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Gino on first down. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. And second down. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of the playmakers. What to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn into a long game or make people miss downfield? They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. At this point in the game, in the situation that we're in, partner, these incompletions that we're seeing, they need to turn into five of snaps and swing. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. I'm looking at this one by defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. Oh, my goodness. Damn, I was right there. Yeah, I was right there. Fuck. <laughs> The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Now it's Smith. This goes for the sources of either sweet or spicy. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on to the contact. Brings up second down. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him. And as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone of throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines usually right in the middle of the field. Before Fellow, nothing seemed to work. I was exercising and throwing my mouth. Throwing again to Smith. The weight just came off. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, I think we were both wondering if we were going to see them try and push it deep downfield, facing a one possession deficit late, and they certainly didn't disappoint. They gave it an effort. 
Throwing on third down, Smith. Oh, on the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in first down. A gain of 18 and a new set of downs. Oh, come on. That's the back one. From and the Seahawks are an extra point away from tying this game here in the The extra point now coming from Myers. Another run with Sanders. And it's not going to be enough 
here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Four down. You have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. All three of them. All three of them's got compulsion. Listen, you find compulsion, that's all over. Oh, the sneak gets hurt. And he's in for the Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts scoring on the sneak from a yard out. And the Eagles go nearly the length of the field and finish it off with six points. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would like to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliot on to kick it away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. Thank you, Parker. 